Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. This is what's making headlines around Kern County. The man found dead at Bell Terrace Park has been identified. According to the Kern County Coroner, the man has been identified as 28 year old man Preet Singh Gill. His body was found yesterday around 950 in the morning at Bell Terrace Park bathrooms. According to the coroner, Gill sustained traumatic injuries. The cause and manner of Gill's death is still to be determined. A local run that celebrates exercise and donuts is a little over two weeks away, but there's been a slight schedule change. The first ever Bakersfield donut run was scheduled to happen on Saturday, March 9th, but has now been moved to Sunday, March 10th. The 5K run and 2K walk is still happening at the park at Riverwalk and the race kicks off at 9 a.m. Donations from the event go to support athletic scholarships for outstanding student athletes. We have a link to register on our website right now. Virgin Galactic spacecraft Unity has done it again, successfully launching this morning from Mojave. Spaceship 2 had been originally scheduled to launch Wednesday morning, but because of high winds, the flight was called off. Today, the weather cooperated and they were able to successfully launch. This is Virgin Galactic's first time launching three human beings on the spacecraft, and today's supersonic flight test reached speeds of three times the speed of sound on its way up. The success of today's launch puts Virgin Galactic one step closer to their goal of commercial space travel. We have another cold evening ahead. There's a freeze warning impacting the entire San Joaquin Valley beginning at midnight tonight, continuing until 9 a.m. on Saturday. Overnight temperatures could range anywhere from 29 up to 32 degrees here in the valley. But once we head into the weekend, temperatures are going to be warming and we're going to be feeling drying conditions for at least the next week. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.